Hey everybody. So we've talked about the natural response of first order circuits in which we have, let's say a switch that's been closed for a long time and then we suddenly open it. And then in which case for an inductor, you'll see the voltage kind of go through exponential decay. And then if we leave that open for a long time, like greater than five time constants, and then we suddenly close the switch, that's gonna be the step response. And I'll just tell you, it's gonna go like this. But then how do you solve for that voltage across this inductor? Okay, so if we close the switch and then we just label some current going clockwise, let's just do KVL clockwise according to with this current. Okay, so the voltage here across the inductor, L, di, dt, and then the independent source, and then the resistor. Okay, so that's KVL. And let me clean this up a little bit. I'm just gonna divide everything by L, and then rearrange a little bit. Okay, so if you take a look at this, when we were doing the natural response, it looked something like this. It was a homogeneous first order ODE, but this time we have something non-zero over here. At least it's constant, but it's non-zero. So now we have a non-homogeneous first order ODE. And I'll tell you now, the strategy is we'll do one U substitution to change the form of this into one that is homogeneous, which you already know how to solve. Okay, so be mindful of the process. And that's what I want you to practice. And also, something important, you see this right here? This could be something complicated that you would reduce to this Thevenin equivalent. So right, it could be some kind of complicated circuit that you can always reduce down to some Thevenin equivalent circuit. So keep that in mind, that's important. Okay, now how do we solve this? Let's do our strategy. I'm gonna move this back on the other side. Okay, and then I'm gonna factor this over here. Let me do it in a separate line. So I'm gonna factor R over L, and then what goes here? I'm gonna times the reciprocal of R over L like this. Okay, and now verify for yourself, right? Like this times this is this, and then R over L times this is this, right? So if you're convinced, now look, and I mean, we can, these cancel, right? Okay, let's do a U substitution here. Let U equal this right here, I minus Vs over R. Okay, and then if we do du di, that's one which means du equals di. So this turns into u, and then you see right here is du. So if I rewrite this equation, there, and look at this, with this u substitution, we turned a homo non-homogeneous first order ODE into one that's in the form of a homogeneous first order ODE with this U substitution. And you already know how to solve this. That's what we did for the natural response. Well, let's just go over that quickly. So how do you solve this? Separation of variables, that's the strategy. 
So I'm going to move this on the other side. Okay, and then separation of variables. So I'm going to exchange places here. Okay, so now we have u on this side, t on this side. And then we just integrate from t naught to t, from u at t naught, I'll just call it u naught, to some u of t. So integrate that, that's log. And then integrate the right side. Okay, and then how do we deal with this natural log? We use the inverse like this. Okay, so remember that trick. And then we're left with this. Okay, and then let's move this over here. All right, so that's u of t, but let's put our u substitution back. Okay, so then u is i minus vs over r. So u is i minus vs over r. So then u naught would be i naught minus vs over r. Okay, and then let's move this on that side. And there we go, that's the current. This is the current through the inductor, which is the current everywhere because everything's in series. Okay, now you are definitely free to just use this formula, assuming the circuit looks exactly like this. But what, what's more important is that you know how to get it. So start with this circuit, use KVL, and get your ODE here, and then go through the steps to solve the ODE until you get this answer. And then keep practicing until you can do it on, on your own. Okay, and then now, how do you get the voltage? What's the voltage across an inductor again? L D I D T. Right, so it's L times the time derivative of this. So what's the time derivative of this whole thing? Okay. So the time derivative of a constant is zero, and then just take the time derivative of this. Okay, so then there's a e to the minus r over L, so minus r over L, e to the minus r over L, t. And that's it. I mean, we can... We can clean it up a little bit, like L cancels over here. We can multiply the negative R through there. Okay, so then here's voltage. Again, what's more important is you know how to get these formulas. Okay, let's go on to the RC circuit. So now if we have the switch open for a long time, and then we suddenly close it at t equal to zero, what's gonna happen? This current source then gets connected, so that it's gonna be current here and here. And again, if you take a look at this, look right here. This could be something more complicated that you reduce to a Norton equivalent. Okay, so keep that in mind. That's important. Okay, so now we close the switch. There's current here and here and here. Uh, let's use KCL at this node right here. And then if I just label the currents going this way, then we have minus IS plus V over R plus, what's the voltage? Uh, the current going, the displacement current for a capacitor, C, D, V, D, T. Okay, so that's KCL. And I'm just gonna just divide everything by C and then rearrange a little bit. Okay, so now if you take a look at this, that is a 
non-homogeneous first order ODE. If this were zero, then it would be homogeneous. And we're going to use the exact same trick as the RL circuit. We'll do a U substitution. So I'm going to take this, move it back on the left side. Okay, and then I want to factor that. So I'm going to factor 1 over RC. And then basically take the reciprocal of 1 over RC times this. So then it's going to look like that. And then double check, right? Like multiply this times this, you get that. 1 over RC times this, you get that. And this is going to be our U substitution right here. And then du by dv is 1, which means du equals dv, which look right here. So if we, we put our U substitution, we get du by dt plus 1 over rc u equals 0. Okay, and then with this U substitution. So we went from non-homogeneous first order ODE to homogeneous first order ODE because of this U substitution. And you know how to solve this, right? Because it looks exactly like the natural response. Just do separation of variables. Okay, these two can trade places. Okay, and then just integrate like that from 0 to t, from u at t0 to some u. All right, so that's log. And then this side. And how do we deal with this natural log? Just use the inverse. Okay, so then we have this. And we can move this right here. Okay, and then that's u, but we want the function for v. So let's do our u substitution. So u is v minus i s r. So then u naught would be v naught minus i s r. Okay, and then we could just take this and move it on that side. Okay, so this is the voltage. All right, and then if you want the current, what's the displacement current across the capacitor? C, dV, dt. So it's C times the time derivative of this. So let's do that. What's the time derivative of a constant? Zero. Derivative of this. Okay, so e to the minus 1 over rc. And there we go. Done. That's the current. Maybe we can clean it up a little bit. C cancels C. We can multiply the minus 1 over r. So minus 1 over r. Okay. And there we go. This is the current. Okay. So then keep practicing the method until you can get from this circuit, right, right KCL, and then you have your ODE, and then get all the way to here on your own. Just keep practicing until you can do it by yourself. It's super valuable in the future. Okay, so keep on going. I'll see you on the next video.